I've been working with uh, photographs from the family archive in the last few years and uh, working across a variety of media. Been doing moving image, collage, both digital and analog. And um, basically using this as material to look at various kinds of things. I've looked at how we can invert landscapes and vistas to create another kind of narrative almost like create a mythopoetic space to take away context from the image and then to create another thing. So basically that has been a kind of focus that has taken many shapes over the last few years. And so this particular show and the kind of works I've been doing now, I feel like I've come a little bit of a full circle from when I started. So from going into a period of like abstracting the image more and more, I've come back to the characters in the image. And the story here is very much about those characters that inhabit these photographs who are unknown, have no provenance, or sometimes there's a scroll, the annotation. imagining stories around these characters, almost like it's a play and my canvas is a theatre in which they are playing a part and I'm making up the story as it goes along. So it's very much about a narrative, about a story, about the characters and some kind of recognition of my family space. There is a sense of familiarity for me and a sense that these people were known or were connected to my family in some way, um, whether they were friends or people they chanced upon or houses they stayed in or, you know, there's some fragile kind of links that are there, which again, I'm spinning stories out of. So my grandmother's whose name is Smriti, uh, which also means memory in Bengali and Hindi, I think, is a very focal point for all my work. So not only is she the originator of much of the material where, um, you know, the photographs are things that she has hoarded and used boxes that she had kept in our cupboard. I recently found a scrapbook which belonged to her where she's got newspaper cuttings. And the newspaper cuttings, at, in, at first, they seemed fairly random. But it begins with Bande Mataram in the beginning. And I see that this is her interface with the freedom struggle with independence in a way so she's cut out things that have special significance and the little piece of text in the work Smithy's dream refers to a time where she says that there has been a declaration of independence and that has given us a hope that we never thought we'd have as artists we um, inhabit a space where you can't divorce yourself from what's happening around you uh, and it will definitely come into any kind of creative work and this piece which is called Breathing Stones which has a, a collage which has a, an x-ray and it uses an analog photograph in conjunction and somehow you know the situation at that time when I was making this work which was to do with the kind of politics that was playing out in Delhi and the kind of like the polluted air that we were breathing and all of that played into some kind of image making thing that I was doing. Going from a space which was like you know the college years, university years is very much um, much more conservative in that sense because you know you studied, I studied painting which is like a discrete form and I studied animation but Pretty much uh, my work has always kind of like bled into each other in various ways and this is across media. And for me, I just work like cut through so many different processes and layers and that's the interesting thing for me. And my work is a product of many different kinds of interventions and interpolations of various media. So I'm interested in like 
the printmaking process, the analog studio processes, and all of that finds its way into the work in some way or the other. So I went for a residency in Belgium at the Franz Mesril Centrum, which is an amazing facility in a place in north of Belgium in Flanders and what they call print forward. So in this place, it was very liberating to find a space where the print making media is very much for the artists. Uh, and they were like, use it as you will. Over the years, I've, I've come to see that that is part of my work, you know, whether there's a little line, a stroke or something that is arrived and I make the layer over that or I, I create another layer because something has happened, something incidental, there's been chance. But it was really, really interesting to be in that space, to, to use printmaking as you will. And, you know, there's been other shows which have kind of led the way to this. Um, and they have been in various places like, you know, the surface of things, uh, which is I would say that the moment that I actually consciously started working with this um, family archival photographs mm -hmm. over and over again, it's been almost a decade of doing this work. But that was very important for my artistic practice because it led me down a way where and I've never looked back since then. And it segued into uh, various other shows in the Serendipity Festival in 2018, for example. It led its way to a solo presentation in China in the Lianzhu Museum, which was primarily focus was the moving image, but which had some other works. So, you know, there have been circuitous routes to this exhibition. And this is like a gathering of all those shows and things that have happened. You know, last year in AL, we showed some of those works. So this has been, this is a culmination of a lot of different kind of work over the past decade or so.